Hey everyone, I hope that you're doing well. Um, I made this video to demonstrate how you can find one another's posts on Medium. Um, this week for the last part of Unit 5, so this is the third week in Unit 5, we're going to read each other's posts about those 24th Infantry documents and respond to one another. And so I have this scrolled down to that section of the unit narrative just so that I don't make your head spin by scrolling and scrolling and scrolling to that point. Um, so this uh, part under what did we learn is what we'll be doing this week for unit three. Um, if you haven't yet posted your um, entry on the documents for the 24th Infantry, please do that as soon as you can um, so that you can then do this last part of the unit five assignments. Um, again, this one, as you scroll down, it says the first step is to locate and read at least two of your classmates' posts on the 24th Infantry documents. So to do that, um, you can look at the home page for our class publication. I'll show you that in a second. You can use the search feature in Medium to search for the Intro to Historical Study tag, because hopefully we're all tagging our posts with Intro to Historical Study. Um, or you can click on the spreadsheet uh, that I had you all populate at the very beginning of the semester where you included your Medium usernames and then you can just enter everyone's usernames or a few people's usernames and read their work. The easiest way to do this, I think, um, is to go to the home page. I wanted to give you a few different ways just in case one's not really working for you. Um, but again, I think the easiest way to do this is to go to the home page. Um, and you'll notice I've reorganized this just a little bit from what it was at the very beginning of the semester. So I added um, the schedule, syllabus, and research project all at the top right here so that um, they're very easy to get to. You know, of course, they're also available on these tabs uh, as well. But here you can see them, click on them, get to the schedule whenever you need it, get the syllabus whenever you need it, and so on. We'll be working on the research project um, starting in Unit 6 for the rest of the semester. So. Um, that will be important for the last portion of the class. As you scroll down, though, you'll notice that everyone who has submitted their, uh, their work for publication here on the class website, on the class publication, um, you'll find their stories here just in the order in which they submitted them. Um, so you can just click on each one to read it um, as you go down. So again, you can, you can look through those. That's a very easy way to find them, and you'll notice that um, you know, because you can submit work uh, that you've missed at any point along the way. There will be some things that were from earlier units uh, mixed in here with the 24th Infantry responses. Um, so that's fine. Just be aware you're looking for 24th Infantry posts and you'll be able to tell uh, which ones those are. So you can find them directly here or um, over here on the right hand side where it says intro to historical study, it gives a little blurb about what this website's about. Click on more information. And then as you scroll down, you'll be able to see the list of writers. Um, this weird modern Latin America, that's the one that I used as the kind of test so that I could make videos and show you how to use this site. The rest of them though, these, this is you guys. Um, anyone that's in the class um, who I have their information for um, is here. I will try to clean this up because I have a couple of folks um, who are in the class at the very start of the semester but who have since dropped, um, who are still on the list. But this way, you can just go and you can click on the person's name and then you will see everything that they've posted. So this is Emily's uh, work. So you can find hers here to keep reading the 24th Infantry Archives, uh, just click on it. You can click the title or you can click where it says read more and then you have to wait for your internet to do its thing. There it goes. Um, to respond, you can read the whole thing and then go to the bottom and click on this little speech bubble. I've already posted some responses to everyone. Um, so just add yours so you can click the speech bubble. It'll bring this up and it says, what are your thoughts? And you can write a general response or if you have a specific part, uh, a specific comment you want to make about a specific idea or topic or interpretation that the person raised, just highlight that interpretation or that thing you want to comment on. And then you'll get this box here. Click the speech bubble and you get the same responses area, except it shows what you've highlighted. And then right here, you type your thoughts. Once you've done that, click the respond button 
and then it will submit that. So that's how you respond to each other on Medium. That's what the first part of the assignment is. Once you've done that, you've thought about um, the different ways that we've all interpreted not only the documents, but also the assignments, um, then you'll write one more Medium post um, of your own that uh, states what, what are your major takeaways from this? You know, what does it teach you about historical study that we could all contextualize these things in so, much, so many different ways that we could approach the narrative in so many different ways? What does that help us understand about the nature of studying the past? Um, and that's where we'll end this uh, Unit 5 uh, big scale or large scale activities on primary sources and on the 24th Infantry documents. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, if you've looked at this and you're not sure how to respond to other folks on Medium, uh, please ask and I'll be happy to help. I hope that you're having a great day and I will talk to you soon.